Kia ora tamariki. It's Tuesday and today my dog Harry decided that we were going to read The Tiger Who Came to Tea. And this is by Judith Kerr. And she did the pictures too. Can you see Sophie there? She's got a tiger at the table with her. What is that all about? Tiger came to tea. What? You can't ride on a tiger like that. Once there was a little girl called Sophie. She was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. And suddenly there was a ring at the door. Ring! Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman. Because he came this morning. This is back when milk used to get delivered to your house. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy because he's got his own key. And we better go and open the door and see. I wonder who it is. Oh, Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course. Come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Of course, that's what tigers do. Hmm? Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and he swallowed them up in one big mouthful. Om, nom, nom, nom. He still looked hungry, so Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the, on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake, and then there was nothing left on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. Oh, she's thirsty. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Mm. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepan and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. Goodness me. He drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's beer. Oh, what would your daddy say? And all the water in the tap. Gosh, how do you do that? <coughs> oh, is that right, Harry? <coughs> then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better be going now. And <coughs> he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger's eaten it all. Left a big mess too. Look at that. You guys would help tidy that up, wouldn't you? You guys are good at that. You know where stuff goes. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. Hello! So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and now the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. So they all went out in the dark and all the street lights were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the street to the cafe. There they go. I like her cats. She does very, she does draws very cool cats. It looks like a little tiger, doesn't it? And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. And in the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots of things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food. Just in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. 
If you would have an animal come to tea at your house, which animal would you choose? Mm. And what would you feed it? Mm. I've got an animal sitting here on the couch. Harry, I feed him dog food. And he has one meal in the morning and one meal in the afternoon. Oh, in the evening. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Have fun.